Okay, I <clears throat> got the engine running. It wasn't pretty. <clears throat> Probably a good thing I didn't film it. It's 30 degrees outside, so for a diesel, Probably typical. I uh, got it running. You can see there's quite a bit of smoke out there. I don't know if that's always going to be that way. I'm guessing it probably will. This temperature, but it does clear up once it starts to warm up. So just a little cold. Um, had to use the electric starter quite a bit actually. Didn't look like there was much hope of me starting it by hand. Um, it does. I was running it yesterday, it was starting pretty good by hand after it warms up, but uh, definitely recommend the starter. I'm at a little higher elevation here too, which probably doesn't help, about 6,200 feet. Um, so that, there's going to be a lot, of, a lot of desire to grab ether to try and start this thing, but I'll try not to. It does have a, uh, go ahead and shut her off here. does have a glow plug on it that heats the intake air um, typically what I'm familiar with is a glow plug in the cylinder or at least for the swirl chamber designs this one's direct injected so <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can get glow plugs inside the cylinders probably not but uh, it'd be better I think to have it <clears throat> inside the cylinder at least it just seems like it would be but uh, I didn't try the glow plug that may make some difference of starting um, it can only help I guess but uh, anyway um, it was running let me go ahead and start it up again by hand maybe it's warm enough I didn't run it very long just set the fuel up here a little bit it actually starts pretty good a little bit of fuel you don't have to put it on the full setting and then I guess what you gotta do is pull it till you get in the compression stroke and then open up the compression decompression let's see if this thing will fire up so it actually starts pretty good when it's warmer I suspect if the air temperature was a little bit warmer If the air temp was a little warmer, it would be a lot easier, obviously, but for snow blowing, it's probably only going to get started when it's cold outside, so I'll have to <clears throat> try and keep it indoors as much as I can or see how effective that glow plug is going to be because it seems like it's going to be needed. But uh, anyway, I'll start it up one more time and run it up a little bit. It seems like it has a little miss at high RPM. I'm not sure. The engine's brand new. I only ran it for probably 10 minutes up until now, so probably has a little bit of breaking in yet to do. The manual says like 20 hours running <clears throat> under uh, minimal load and low RPMs to break it in. I don't know if I'm going to wait 20 hours. I This whole machine hasn't seen 20 hours in five years, so probably just <clears throat> try and run it. Uh, Run it when I need it and see what happens. I wear it out sooner, I guess that's the chances I'll take. So anyway, let's try this one more time. Don't need to set too much throttle. Compression stroke, compression release. idles down pretty good I think and it's really not that loud it's not much doesn't really sound much different than the gasoline engine I'll make sure my clamps are staying on which they're not tighten those up a little bit Get her bolted down here once I once I get the uh, pulleys in this week. Get it set right. Now 
these are still holding decent enough for now. to rattle on acceleration too from a low RPM. I'm not sure if I really like that, but I'm not sure what I can do about it either. Yeah. <clears throat> that doesn't seem to be good. I'll have to probably check the valve clearance. That's doesn't seem to be quite running right on a high RPM. Um, not sure if that's a break-in function or what. Again, probably thinking valve clearance maybe. Um, temperatures on the exhaust were running around 225 yesterday when I checked it with a temp gun, which is probably not that bad. See a little smoke coming off it now. I did see one of these engines get really hot on a generator on YouTube and so uh, I don't know if the guy didn't put oil in it or what happened but hopefully that's not a common symptom of these engines but uh, anyway that's where we're at we'll shoot another video once we get her done probably be a couple weeks and that's even if I can get it done but uh, keep working on towards that see you next time